Hello everyone, I'm Jerry Guo, President of Huawei NCE Data Communication Domain. I'm very pleased today to share with you how iMaster NCE enables Autonomous Driving Network, or ADN. Recently, you may have noticed Huawei and its partners released the auto-driving cars. In fact, ADN is similar to self-driving cars in concept. Auto-driving car is an intelligent upgrade of traditional one. How do we upgrade cars? Firstly, we added various sensors to get road conditions and driving information in real time. Secondly, a car-mounted system is added to provide automatic control and continuously optimizes driving based on big data on the cloud. Likewise, ADN is an intelligent upgrade of traditional network. It makes the upgrades as three layers. At the equipment layer, ADN enhances real-time data collection and age computing. This makes traditional devices smarter. At the network layer, ADN builds a digital twin of the physical network. This makes interactions between human beings and devices digital, and enables automatic and intelligent network planning, construction, maintenance, and optimization. At the cloud layer, ADN provides network data modeling and training services, make the network smarter and smarter. Like auto-driving car, ADN also has its own classification criteria. For the auto-driving car levels, in simple understanding, hands-off is made at layer 2, eyes-off is realized at layer 3, man's-off is e enabled at layer 4, and at layer 5, fully auto-driving is made. Back to ADN, at layer 2, basic network automation is made. At layer 3, AI is introduced and network self-healing is realized. At layer 4, proactive prediction is added, enabling network self-optimization. Finally, at layer 5, ultimate goal of ADN, full lifecycle, closed-loop autonomy is made. iMaster NCE provides automatic and intelligent management and control for campus networks, DCN networks, and WANs. There are four key technologies that drive enterprise network towards ADN. The first one is intent-driven recommendation. The system replaces human to understand service intents, translate service intent to network language, and automate network deployment and provisioning. The second is simulation and verification. Network changes made by humans are prone to errors. To avoid this, we can use this technology. The third one is intelligent analysis. It uses big data and AI to do analysis, judgment, and prediction. This is beyond the limitation of human experiences and enables 1, 3, 5 troubleshooting. But now least one is digital twin. Based on multi-dimensional data, this technology establishes a multi-layer network data model. It can map a physical network to a digital model, which is the base of all other applications. The digital twin is similar to Google Maps. It builds a digital replication of the physical network. How can it make this? First, forward chips collect data in milliseconds and report data in seconds through telemetry. This makes real-time visibility of network top topology, traffic, and quality. Second, it restores the live network and builds a five-layer models based on network graphs. These layers are device, network, service, user, and application. In this way, it sets up a data-driven, real-time, and dynamic digital copy of the live network. Next, I will use a short example to show how NCE evaluates the network health by layer and dimension based on the digital twin. Powered by digital twins, Huawei iMaster NCE builds multi-layer and multi-dimensional digital models for the entire network and generates network health reports accordingly. 
During traditional routine inspection, three engineers struggle with more than ten tools and have to inspect the network for one hour every day. iMaster NCE comprehensively evaluates the network health status in minutes. It uses telemetry to monitor more than 70 metrics on the entire network in real time, and uses knowledge graph and AI modeling to systematically build a five-dimensional health evaluation system in order to detect network-wide health risks in real time and proactively push evaluation reports. iMaster NCE ensuring services run stably. Intent-driven recommendation is mainly used for speeding up new services rollout. The following uses a financial data center network as an example. In most cases, service department send work orders to network department to roll out a new service. The network department then splits the service requirements and does network design. On average, at least one month is needed to roll out a new service because this process highly rely on the expert experiences. However, a large bank usually rolls out more than 30 new services a year. This method, however, requires too much time and labor. To solve this, intent-driven recommendation comes in. First, the digital twin provides all needed information, such as real-time network topology and resource usage. Second, NCE forms a built-in expert experiences library based on the experience get from more than 9,000 projects. Not only this, the AI-based network recommendation algorithm is added. All of this makes NCE able to recommend optimal network deployment plans in minutes, just like using a navigation software giving the travel recommendations based on a digital map. Simulation and verification is mainly used for automatic network changes. Again, we use a financial data center network as an example. As we know, the network department is busy with network changes. For example, a top financial customer in China makes around 14,000 network changes a year, and about 40% of network faults are caused by human errors. No simulation and verification means unavoidable human errors. In some cases, these errors cause serious network accidents. To avoid this, iMaster NCE provides simulation and verification feature. First, the controller collects network topology, configuration, and resource data to build a digital copy of the physical network. Second, based on the digital twin, any network change is an incremental change of the current network and the network change is deduced through formal algorithm. Finally, it verifies connectivity and resource satisfaction before and after changes. It can also tell us the impacts of network changes on existing services. Now let's see a demo to figure out how NCE rolls out a new banking service using intent-driven recommendation and simulation and verification. Large banks have complex data center networks. Usually, one bank has dozens of data centers in different areas. In most areas, rolling out a new service involves many areas, such as the internet area, call switching area, and database area. It is very hard to do network design and change evaluation on such a complex network. In this demo, we can see the entire process of rolling out a new service through NCE, including service intent abstraction, network recommendation, simulation before deployment, and automatic rollout after verification. Quickly deployed on a complex network with multiple data centers and vendors, and using heterogeneous computing? Huawei iMaster NCE builds autonomous driving data center network capabilities based on intent understanding, network recommendation, and simulation and verification, and enables one network for multiple clouds. This accelerates service rollout. It understands service intents based on practices on 10,000 global networks and years of experience. 
and recommends the optimal solution based on Huawei's global expert experience and AI algorithms, leveraging digital twin and simulation algorithms. iMaster NCE simulates and verifies changes, eliminating errors in execution of service intents. Huawei iMaster NCE enables swift innovation of financial services. Intelligent analysis is mainly used for network operation and maintenance. Now, I will use a campus network as an example to show how it works. As enterprises services move to the cloud, network SLAs need to meet higher requirements. On traditional network, we can hardly make SRA commitments because there are no methods to measure and adjust network traffic in real time. Take Huawei cam Huawei's campus as an example. About 20,000 party video conferences are held every day. It is time consuming to deal with dropped calls and freezes. To handle this, the intelligent analysis feature comes in. With this one, NCE aims to detect faults in one minute, locate them in three minutes, and heal them in five minutes. First, NCE collects various data in real time. This makes network topology, configuration, entry, and status visible at any time. Not only this, with AI algorithms, NCE can detect network faults whenever they occur. Second, NCE uses knowledge graphs to build a dynamic network model. With this, it can perform network-wide AI reasoning to rapid detect faults. Third, combining with over 20,000 network maintenance experiences, it continuously iterates and optimizes the fault repair methods to achieve rapid recovery of network faults. In a word, NCE does AI analysis, judgment, and prediction via intelligent analysis, and gives a visible and controllable network with committed SRAs. Now, let's see how 135 troubleshooting works. Network-wide monitoring offers insights into teaching experience in real time. Display of access terminal information identifies terminals with poor experience. Visualized terminal access journey quickly demarcates which AP is faulty. Root cause analysis shows that the fault is caused by co-channel interference. iMaster NCE then recommends an optimization solution. Intelligent radio calibration is then performed accordingly. Huawei iMaster NCE guarantees premium teaching experience. As a front runner, Huawei initiates and keeps on driving ADN. By now, more than 2,000 sites of NCE have been commercially deployed. Huawei also provides the industry's first Layer 3 ADN solution for data center network. We have more than 1,500 software R&D experts and five professional labs globally. Besides, we jointly innovate with more than 100 top enterprise customers. All of these aim to boost the ADN industry. Huawei will continue to promote the evolution of enterprise networks to Layer 4 and Layer 5 levels to provide customers with automatic, self-healing, and self-optimized networks. That's all of my speech. Thanks for watching.